So I have uh, the authenticate method here, which checks whether the user ID and password have been authenticated or not, are valid or not. Now, what I need to do here is, from here, I need to call this method because uh, this is a controller. The controller will not be doing the work of the business service. The business service is interested with the responsibility of doing the authentication and the controller just calls that method of the business service. So let me instantiate an object of the business service. Okay, I've created an object here. And now, I, of course, I'll have to import that class. And now, all I need to do is pass the user ID and the password, these two strings here, to this, the method of this uh, service object, and then capture the response. Now, let me declare a Boolean result equals login service dot authenticate. Now I will pass the user ID and the password. Eclipse has pre-filled it for us, so I'll just leave it at that. Now, depending on the value of the result, if it is true or if it is false, we will have to take action accordingly. Now, if the result is true, then we'll have to redirect to a success message page. And if the result is false, we will have to redirect to a login page, which we've already written. Now, let's uh, pause for a minute and think this over. In our earlier examples, our do post would just get the request and get the response and then use the request to get the input values and then write to the response object. We have never actually redirected from this uh, piece of code to another servlet or another JSP. So in so far, all our examples have been standalone servlets, servlets which just get the request and then deliver the response. So now we need to understand how to redirect control from this servlet to another JSP, be it the login JSP or the success message JSP. So before we uh, learn how to redirect, let's create the success message JSP as well. So I'll again right click new JSP file. I'll call this success.jsp. And I'll change the title here to success. And then I'll add some text here. Login successful. And I'll save this. Okay, so now we have both these JSPs, the login.jsp and the success.jsp ready. Now, how do we do the actual redirection? We do the redirection by using a method from the response object. The way it works is, if you have content that you need to send to the response object, then you use a response object and then you get a print writer and you print all those values into the response object. But in this case, we are not actually printing content to the response object. Instead, we will send an instruction to the response object saying, hey, I don't have the content here, but you should redirect to this other page which will display the content. So basically, instead of uh, printing your text or HTML that gets sent to the response, we are actually sending instruction to do an actual redirection. So once we pass this response, Tomcat will again convert that to HTML code and send it to the user. So the user's browser knows, okay, this is not an actual response. I actually need to look up at another page and then it does the request for the page that we will instruct in the response object. So let's pass the instruction depending on the result. Now if result, which means that if it is successful. Now if the login is successful, what do we need to do? We need to redirect to the success.jsp, which means we need to send an instruction to the browser saying redirect to success.jsp. Now the way we do that is by using the response start response object and we use a method called send redirect. Now the send redirect takes one parameter 
which is actually the name of the new resource where you're actually redirecting the response. Now, the new resource in this case is success.jsp. So we'll just pass the JSP name here, success.jsp. And I will add something else here, which I'll explain uh, in a little while. I'll just add a return. Okay, now if the result is false, that means that uh, the authentication has failed. In that case, we will do a response.redirect again to the login.jsp and I'll add a return here as well. Okay, let me save this and uh, let's run the login.jsp again. Okay, so I'll type some user ID and I'll type some password. I'll say submit query. There you go, it's gone to success.jsp. Now what happens if I leave the password as blank? Submit query, it's back to the login.jsp page. So I hope it's uh, the flow is clear now. The login.jsp actually does the submit and then the values that you've entered here goes to the action, which is a login. And uh, the login is actually handled by the server because we have defined it over here. Now, since the, since the method is post, the do post method of the servlet is called. And uh, in this do post method, we actually capture the parameters that are being passed and we instantiate a login service, which is a business service. And uh, in the business service method, we have an authenticate and we pass the user ID and password that has been sent to us to this authenticate method. Now the authenticate method takes over and it checks for the just the password. Again, this is a dummy method. It just checks if the password is null or just blank, then it'll return false. But if the password has some characters, then it returns true. Now, once we get the response, we are storing it in the result boolean. And then uh, now if the result is true, then we redirect to success.jsp. And if the result is false, then we redirect to login.jsp. So what have we implemented so far? We've implemented the controller, which is login servlet. We have implemented the business service, which is login service. And we have implemented the view, which is success.jsp and login.jsp. Now what's the model here? We are not passing a lot of data around. All we are passing is this Boolean from uh, the business service. So actually the model here happens to be the Boolean, the result that we are getting here. Now we are not using the Boolean in order to uh, generate the view itself. We are using it to decide what happens to the view, whether we need to go to a success or uh, back to the login. But the success.jsp does not use this Boolean result. So we will we'll make some changes to the code so that we actually uh, get some data from the business service and uh, we will use that data inside our view, say from our uh, success.jsp in order to change how the view gets displayed. Overall, this is a basic layout of a MVC where we have the, the model, which is the Boolean as the M, uh, V, which is the view, the success.jsp and the login.jsp and C, the controller, which is this login servlet. Now, before we wind up, there is one other thing we need to learn here. Uh, we saw this response.send redirect is uh, the method that we use in order to send a response uh, to a different page or a different uh, resource. So uh, the parameter that we take here is the actual uh, URL here at success.jsp. Uh, in case it's a servlet, then we need to mention the servlet um, path that you know we de define for the servlet say for example i had to i had to def you know i was in another servlet and i had to redirect to this login servlet so this is the login path so i will have to send login over here instead of the jsp name so that's one point the second point is that uh, response dot send redirect 
cannot be used with a actual response that is uh, sent you know using our previous method what i mean by this is um, let's say for example you use the response object and get a print writer and uh, once you start writing uh, html content to the response object using that print writer then somewhere in between you cannot do a response dot send redirect it has to be either the html content or a redirect so this this is applicable both ways now once you do a send redirect you cannot use the response object to write any html and send it back to the user uh, well it of course doesn't make sense because once you're doing a redirect then uh, the end user is going to get a redirect instruction on his browser and then they will uh, the browser is going to redirect to the url that we are going to send here so there is no point in doing a send redirect as well as uh, you know sending text or HTML using the response object so it has to be either one or the other okay well this uh, application is far from perfect uh, there are a lot of changes that we can do and uh, the first change that the first change that we're going to do now is to take a value from the business service and then pass it on to the view and then the view is going to use that value and render something different